Okay, so I was sitting in my bathroom here staring at it. I finished painting today, finished painting the walls, and I'm just staring at like all the things we need to cover up that we say we're gonna build a shelf around that. But, you know, Dylan and I have never even built a cabinet or anything yet. We've never done that before, ever. And so, you know, we don't really know what to do, but I'm gonna show you my process of figuring it out. <laughs> So this is the bathroom right now. This is the view. We have all of this, all of the propane runs around here. And this is open, so that's where the washer dryer will go. The propane and the on off valve for the propane and for the water. And this is the tub. So I am just gonna draw what I'm thinking. Basically from that, I want to put a shelf along this wall where the top opens so we can stick our hand in and mess with this stuff. But do you see how high we cut the drywall off too high? I wish we would have done it in line with where the window sill in so that the shelf could be that high. So my plan has been some sort of that for a while now. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But again, I've never done it before. So now I have to do like the next step, which is measure everything to see how much wood I would need, what kind of wood I wanna use. So we kind of have a lot of space here in between. And do I want it wider so I can set stuff on it? I was also thinking about putting, so the, this will be like a little shelf thing that's like a built-in. And then I'll probably put two bigger shelves to hang towels and things, or not hang, but like roll up towels or set them on there. So do I want this to be thicker and then, but then it'll be thick and it will go into a thin, thinner shelf and I also don't want it to look like the tub is like built in because I like the shape of the clawfoot tub and I like how it looks I don't want it to like mess with that either okay then I was thinking maybe I could do maybe I could make the shelf or the bottom built-in thing white and it would blend in with the background so that the tub would still stick out against the white background but I could do a wood top around the edge of the shelf. So like a dark wood and also have the window be framed in dark wood. So this ledge comes up to 29 and a half inches. The windowsill is 29 and the um, heater is also 29. So if I would have just made that a half an inch longer, then we wouldn't have this problem. But I didn't, and I'm definitely not redoing that drywall. I'll tell you that right now, not redoing that. So, I don't know. So I found two Pinterest pictures that should help explain what I'm imagining. And now I went and took all the measurements, but that's a lot of two by fours in that picture. So I don't think I'm gonna use all of the um, two by fours because it'll only be a shelf for like shampoo. And it's really just to cover up all of the imperfections and the propane and the water and things. So. I don't know if you can tell what this looks like, but. This will be a board, this will be a board, 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 board. But then I realized that I need to do the window casing and trim probably before I make the shelf, which stinks because I'm not looking forward to that. But a little progress. All right, we're back working on the bathroom it's too muddy to get up the hill 
Dylan cut this awesome pathway up to the cabin. All right, so we're gonna work on the bathroom today. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so here we have the window and I was talking to you guys about the shelf, but before I can do the shelf, I need to frame in the window. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I hate how expensive all of this wood is. It's $80 just for the materials, just to make a border around the window. So frustrating. Basically what I did was I watched two YouTube videos on how to frame a window. And then I took my trusty measuring tape and measured how deep the window is set in there. And it's about three and a half inches or so. And so on the bottom ledge here, you usually have like a little shelf in your window. So we got a wider piece for that area and then smaller pieces to do the inside here and then the outside. I don't know if that made sense. We need to do this bottom one first. So I'm just going to measure the width of the inside of the frame, which is 48 inches. So 48 inches. So it'll be 48 inches there, but you want it to stick over the edges We'll want to stick it to stick over the edges here because that's where the outside of the frame. So it'll be 48 inches on the inside and then we'll have to cut a little groove on the outside so that it hangs over for the trim. This is how it goes, guys. This is how I think it through. <laughs> So it fits in. I obviously measured wrong or something, but at least the other piece of wood will sit on top of this. So you won't be able to see the gaps. Okay, while the air compressor gets ready, we're gonna go ahead and cut the other inside board. So the top will also be 48 inches and then the side pieces will be 48 inches minus- 47 and three quarters. <laughs> minus the width of the two pieces that we're already putting in. So for us, ours was actually 47 and three quarters. And one of our boards is half an inch and one of our boards is a quarter of an inch. So it'll be 47 inches, hopefully. got our pieces cut and now we are going to nail them in. Alright, so we have the inside rim done, so now we're just going to go do the outside rim. We're going to do these two first, and we're going to have them stop right here and right there. They're both 47 inches, and then the top one will be the 48 inches plus the three and a half for each side.
right, so there she is. So now we're going to build a shelf around the bottom. It's not perfect. We're going to use some wood filler on some parts and where all the staples are, but it's good. So now I'm realizing I probably shouldn't have made the shelf on the window because there's going to be a shelf below it. So for this side, since we have this wall here, I know it will be lower than the wall at the start, I think we will just attach a 2 by 4 tall ways so that it's 28 inches across. We'll screw it in and then we will have a piece come out and a piece go down. So for this here, we're going to Except it'll be right on this. Go. Okay. So Dylan is not a visual person visual person. So whenever we do projects, we never know what each other are talking about. So I'm just taking you along for the ride here. So we have this corner and we are going to build a shelf that sits here and also goes across like that. It's a little eight inch shelf just to cover all this ugliness. So we just put this two by four on the wall. This two by four is screwed into some studs so it's very supportive. Now we're going to put a bracing across so here's the wall, okay, and we're going to put the bracing here, and here's the brace that we just put in, and we're going to put a leg down here so that we can put the shelf right across here, and the shelf will be its own, like, little thin board, okay, this is the window here, this is the window, this is the 2 by 4 we just put in right there. So we're going to put a 2 by 4 in here, we're going to put a 2 by 4 in here, and we're going to attach it to the wall. <laughs> Can you see it? No? Do you see it? Not with that drawing. <laughs> what do you mean? Alright, calling it quits for the night. We have the supports. So this will go like this, and then I'm going to get a top piece to lay over top of that. So here's the bathroom so far. We're just cutting this piece and then we'll be done in here. We have to seal that. We need to paint that. There's a million other things that need done. I stained this um, early American. I think it looks nice. I just had that little sample. Um, this is going to take some time. Yeah. Okay, so I asked everyone on Instagram if I should say this early American or just leave it as is. I kind of really love it as oh. is, but Dylan says that he doesn't like it. And he would rather be early American because it just looks unfinished. And so everyone voted to stain it matching the beam that is above the sink. And so I guess we're going to do that. I hope it doesn't look terrible. <laughs>
also on the other side, this is the mirror that's hanging in the kitchen. And since I can, can't really find a mirror that I like that is big enough to fit this space, plus this sticks out over this. So like no mirror could go down past it. I think we're just going to make shelves out of this and then we'll hang a mirror in front or I might get this mirror that sticks out from the wall. I'm not sure. We'll see. But we're going to make shelves. Okay, so using what we have, we have these... I think it's a two by four cut in half. We're going to, and this is an old part of our bed. It was our backboard, but we took it off. Anyways, headboard. headboard. We're gonna use this. Okay, here's our little shelf system. Not too shabby. Better than it was.